Among the presidential hopefuls busy with their schedules with the campaign in full throttle, conservative candidate Hong Junpyo held a key meeting to highlight his pledges on national security. Shin Zemin tells us more. The Liberty Korea Party's candidate Hong Junpyo is campaigning on a quote, strong Korea, and he's not taking the day off. Hong pitched his hardline stance on security to voters on Wednesday, listing several ways he hopes to keep the nation safe. We can never permit a single attempt against our national security. I will not tolerate any type of provocation that could hurt the stability or well-being of the Korean people. More specifically, his plans include restoring the nuclear balance of power on the peninsula by redeploying American tactical nuclear weapons to the south, overhauling the nation's defense posture through an aggressive deterrence policy, setting up a special marine warfare unit to better counter threats like North Korea's potential processing of biochemical weapons. Also, ensuring a ironclad Korea-U.S. alliance. And that's where a key meeting comes in. Hong on Wednesday became the first candidate to meet with Mark Knapper, the acting U.S. ambassador to South Korea. The two affirmed their will to maintain the allies' strong bilateral relations, saying the two countries will go together 100 percent. They also agreed that it's important for the embassy to listen to Korean voters and the candidates running for the top job. The Democratic Party of Korea's Moon Jae-in met with the former head of the Korean Council for Reconciliation and Cooperation, a key ally of former President Kim Yong-sam, a move aimed at building more conservative support. The People's Party An Tersu, on the other hand, stopped by the Federation of Korean Trade Unions, consulting with workers and listening to their concerns. Some towing the party line, some pushing hard with their own agenda. It's another day on the campaign trail, but for the contenders, it's one of fewer than 20 days left before the big election day. Shin Se-min, Arirang News.